all gassed up, ready to go here. We're on a special mission today because we are on our way to see the fire pilot. Hey, you seen the fire pilot anywhere? It's about three miles this way. Okay, so let's you, go find yeah, him. Yeah, okay. Heard. I've heard he's a big deal, but everyone I ask around here, they don't know who the hell the fire Not pilot a clue. is. <laughs> Romeo Golf Alpha, there are planes everywhere today, and that's because it's a beautiful day to fly. Hey, it's the fire pilot. You know, the guy makes TikTok and aviation and uh, TikTok and YouTube videos about aviation and, and whatever. Yeah, that's me, whatever. We just don't do it at the same time. However, we're going to take advantage of this beautiful day to fly today. And you know, my deal is aviation is about people, right? Well, nobody likes to fly alone. I've got a good friend with me today. The YouTube star himself, you know this guy. It's Six Zero Alpha. What's hey, up? Hey, thanks for having me. He came down to beautiful Kentucky. And we're going to go to one of our friends' airport, uh, Mr. Gary Cox, at Prestonsburg, Martin County, or S uh, SGS. Gary's got a great restaurant, Cloud9 Cafe, SGS Airport. We're going to head east. It's a 28 minute flight. Let's get some grub. Check out the scenery. Check out the scenery. It's the Fire Pilot at 6 0 Alpha, the new YouTube star himself. Check him out. <laughs> weather today because we don't need that and you can see all the traffic right there central kentucky regional airport in the area automated weather observation uh, one eight, got zero, everybody four, out here training eight. i know i'm not as pretty as the fire pilot wife but y'all have to put up with me today <laughs> central kentucky traffic twin Cessna 263 yankees from the ramp over to 18 for uh, eastbound departure central kentucky hey everybody welcome back Things don't look quite right. I'm not over there, and this is not a Piper Cherokee 6. In fact, this is a twin Cessna 310. Did I say that right, Cessna? It just says Cessna. And this is the Fire Pilot. What's up? Now, I'm a Flatlander from uh, Indiana, and I fly a single-engine plane. So today, I thought I'd come down here, have some lunch with my friend the Fire Pilot, check out his twin, get some right seat time in a twin Cessna. Did I say that right? It is. And, uh... See the uh, the beautiful scenery down here. The foliage is is peaking right about now, and we're gonna go check out the uh, foothills of the Appalachia. So come on along. Central Kentucky traffic twin says a two six three eight Yankee is departing runway one eight to the east, and we'll be out before three five six nine gets uh, close here. Roger that fire pilot doing about one hundred ten ground speed on the two and a half mile final. Uh, that sounds like there's some math involved there, and I don't know if I'm good at that. <laughs> All right, there's 1,700. Everything appears to be in the green. Good fuel flow, no issues. Ready for departure. Woo! Airspeed is alive. Making good power, no major splits. There's 65 for 85, 1,000 foot gone. 85, rotate. Tap the brakes, gear up. And we go to Top Gun mode in three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! Let's say flat fire pilot. Appreciate it, man. We'll be back a little bit later. We headed over to Prestonburg. We'll grab a little uh, grub. Bring us back some. Right on. Center Kentucky traffic, twin says two six three eight Yankee is uh, left crossman departure one eight Central Kentucky. Yeah, this is uh, the fall colors right now. Oh man. Yep. Hopefully the uh, the tail cam's still okay. rolling. Our friends are Mike Alpha is maneuvering in the Bucky uh, practice area, ten nautical miles to the west. Uh, oh, whoa! Yeah. Shit. That was <laughs> close. <laughs> bird strike. Almost hit a bird there. <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. Yep. 
And he's up here high. It's worth 3,000 feet. Wow. Yep. Take us to Prestonsburg. SJS. By the way, I said it in my video, SGS. That's uh, Albert Whitted or something. SPG, Albert, SPG. Albert Wood. Yeah, we both had the pleasure of uh, taking off on that short runway over the bay. Mine went a little better than yours from what I understand. Ooh, I <laughs> it did. That was... Uh, Have you told that story before? Uh, I, Do you I, want to tell it now sure, or yeah. maybe not? <laughs> no, I don't mind to tell it. I mean, it's, we're all here to learn. And it's a learning experience, sure right? Is. We've all had those. Let me tell you about density altitude. Yeah. Uh, um, we had an archer before... I'm sorry, an arrow before we... Uh, uh, flew the twin, and uh, we were testing its legs. And so we decided to take take it down to Tampa, Albert Whitted Airport, SPG. It's about a 3,200, I think, 3,100. 3, something like that, yeah. It's right at 3,000. And, um, you know, we, we got down there on a Saturday uh, afternoon. The uh, the place was great. It was beautiful. We're landing beautiful went airport, great. Yeah. yeah, great restaurant. Beautiful uh, approach. Beautiful takeoff. It is. It's stunning. Uh, you come to take off on Sunday. It's, it's Florida, and you know that yep. Florida weather is always hot and, and swampy. Humid yeah. and swampy, and all that. Well, we uh, we wanted to get back home. We made it down on one tank of fuel. The thing I held 78 gallons, which allowed me to get the uh, the IFR reserves and uh, and be able to get get back home uh, right at the numbers. I mean, it was, so I needed all the fuel that I could get. Uh, I didn't want to stop again because I knew that weather was iffy and uh, when we got back home as it always is. And so, you know, so I've loaded up with 78 gallons of fuel, maybe then some. We had my wife and our son in there as well. And uh, we line up on the runway. I use all the runway. The, the arrows are very, I don't know, the arrows are very uh, runway, they love runways. They love to eat up all the runway space that you have. And uh, and I bet by the halfway down the runway, I think takeoff speed there is 78 knots. Uh, takeoff, about halfway down the runway, I bet we had gained maybe 30 knots. Oh, boy. And before I took any action, which is the, the most evil thing you could say, before I took action, uh, I knew it was too late. Yeah. So I, I, if, if I would have no noticed it earlier, I would have stopped. But by the time I noticed it, we were already beyond the point yeah. of, uh, you know, what, V1, yep, you would exactly, say? Yeah. Uh, I could, meaning that if I stopped now, I would for sure have went into Tampa Bay. Yep. No question. So I gave it, pushed that throttle all she had. And I bet out of 3,100 feet, we likely used Central about, Kentucky, uh, Scott, I bet we used, Kansas, let's say, 3,050 feet <laughs> to get those wheels off the ground. And it shook me up pretty good. Uh, yeah. You know, so we were literally in ground effect yeah. over Tampa Bay. Wow. And so it was that day that I learned quite a bit, if you will, about density altitude yeah. and how that affects yes. the performance when you're above standard yeah. temperature pressure. Um, it will cause your airplane yeah. to basically not fly yeah and uh it's extremely dangerous and so i have been more of a by the books yeah by the by the numbers kind of pilot uh since that day uh and i just uh you know it was just a, a, a thankfully a learning experience not yeah. a tragic event right right um but yeah that's that story so and that was the day you decided you needed a twin huh that was actually yeah <laughs> to, yeah Truly, it was. Uh, I, I said, this is not the plane for us. If this is the mission that we want to do, yeah. like, we are constantly at the upper envelope of its performance. And, like, we, 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 this is, we need something else. Yep. Is, you know, if we want to get to Florida, if we want to go to the beach on a Saturday and maybe come back on Sunday after yeah. shift and, and all that kind of stuff, then the, this, uh, this arrow is not, not the plane for yep. us. No. What's your, uh, do you know about your cost an hour to operate? I try to ignore it. Okay. Uh, Truly, with annuals and everything, it's closer to probably 500 an hour. Oh, so a twin, you uh, you get to go not twice as fast and pay four times as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's, I love the economics on that. It does add up pretty well, uh, pretty good. So uh, you know, look, what's money? What's money? We let's see. Hazard, Kentucky, is just off. Nice. To the south, the right of us. Oh, that's cool. Who didn't grow up watching the Dukes of Hazard, man? Right. Guilty.
Just some good old boys. Let's face it, every 12-year-old boy in America was watching the Dukes because they had a cool car and they had Daisy. They had Daisy. And uh, I think they named some shorts after her. I don't know why. No, I've been they, told. They, they, I hear they do, but I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Come to think of it, those shorts I wear all the time, have that's the <laughs> brand they, Daisies. <laughs> I don't know, it's oh. weird. My wife seems to like them. <laughs> she is always laughing. Huh, when I wear them. I'm sure it's just the way your butt looks in them. Probably. Just like Catherine Box, I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Big Sandy Traffic Twin says the 2638 Yankee. We're about, uh, call it 15 miles to the west. Go across over midfield for the left downwind for 2 1. Big Sandy. Here's Gary. He'll come on the radio. No weather reported traffic. Big Sandy, one, uh, winds currently 180 at 05. 18005. Appreciate it. We'll see you in a few. Beautiful. They just had it ever all this repainted. Yeah. Boy, that's a nice looking yeah. runway. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that. Cool. Would love it. Big Sandy traffic. Twin says on 263 at Yankee is left downwind for 2 1. Big Sandy. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I hope the 360 still rolling, because that's the money shot right there. Right. Dad, what's a money shot? Uh, nah, never mind, son. Gears, a gas is on the mains. Undercarriage is set. Three in the green. Mixture is set. Props are set. Flaps are coming down. Flaps. 2-1. Wind check good. Big Sandy traffic. Twin says a 2-6-3-8. Yankee is uh, turning final now for 2-1. Big Sandy. Like they lopped off the top of that hill there and slapped a runway on it. That's exactly what they did. Big Sandy. It's named after the Big Sandy River. Okay. What do you think? Love it. Ready to go eat? Hell yeah. Let's go eat. There you go. Well, this is what we do in Kentucky. We sit on the porch and rock and rocking chairs. Make TikToks. And make TikToks. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good gig, right? <laughs> Sitting out here just watching airplanes, right? I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. You know, Kentucky's known for country music and bluegrass and all this. And there's one common thing that uh, bluegrass and country music have in common. There's one common theme, I should say. That's a good story. No doubt, many of those popular country and bluegrass songs that you know were written just like this right here. Sitting on a front porch, just telling stories, and someone made them rhyme and put music to it. Three chords and the truth, that's all you need. Big Sandy traffic, Cessna 2638 Yankee, departing 2-1 to the west. <laughs> what do you say we give them a show? Man, look at those colors. Yeah, no, it's Just beautiful, isn't it? On point. Rogers International Airfield. Okay. Um, I may have it on my phone where it may be. I'm sure it's we're super close to it. They're having a huge, huge fly in this year. It is a grass strip on top of a mountain that this plane does not go into. Yeah. Cool. They've got a balloon coming up through the uh, through the mountains. And uh
Rogers traffic, Cessna 2638 Yankee, 3 to the south, 2000. Inbound for uh, inspection pass to the north. Is that you, pilot? Right on. heavy on the controls. Central Kentucky traffic, twin Cessna 2638 Yankee is left downwind. What's your approach speed? Um, so I'll, I'll uh, be in downwind as when I drop my gear is 138. Uh, 158 flaps one, 138 flaps two and gear down. And then uh, when I'm turning a uh, base to final, uh, you, I'm sorry, uh, downwind to base to final is usually about 110, and then uh, across the numbers about uh, 90, 95. Okay. Central Kentucky traffic, Cessna 3A Yankee, turning final, 1-8 full stop. Central Kentucky Regional after spending the day with the fire pilot. <laughs> Man, we had an absolute ball. I got to fly a twin Cessna. Did I say it right? You did. <laughs> <laughs> and we had an awesome lunch and uh, met some great people. And that's what it's all about, right? Aviation's about people. I learned it from this guy, and it's true. Thanks for watching. See you next time. It's the fire Kentucky, pilot! East Kentucky Colonels, I think they play over here at the college. And, yeah. Colonel, oh. and Colonel Sanders, Colonel is, Sanders is right over right there. Whoa, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm in six, three, eight, nine, five Yankee <laughs> uniform. We just touched down here at, uh, what the hell is this airport? God damn.